welcome to our super fitness journey. I'm your host, Kelly Hydebrader. Over the course of the last year, our super fitness challengers made a pledge to have a healthier lifestyle. But it's no secret that this has been an extremely tough year. The coronavirus has shut down gyms, forced us to stay away from one another, and forced us to stay in our homes just a few steps away from our fridge. But we have still seen some great results. And over the next half hour, we hope to inspire you to lose some weight right along with our Super Fitness Challengers. Let's kick it off with Super Fitness owner, Ron Hemmelgarn. It's been unbelievable. It's, uh, we started out in October. We was going to end it in May, and that's what we're doing. And we're still together, and we're going to announce the winners of this year's Season 13 uh, weight loss challenge and it's exciting and I as I said earlier this group of people we had this year is second to none they were fighting it out at every challenge every month and it was exciting to see you know when you see a hundred and some people show up at six o'clock in the morning to do a challenge on a Saturday morning they're committed and I'm really really proud of them. And I, I, I agree with you. It was always amazing to me as I'd pull up to the challenge and I would see the parking lot full, whether it was at Super Fitness itself, whether we were at Imagination Station, whether they were at Sky Zone. The ones we did get in, man, everyone really did bring their best game. So many great stories coming out of this, Ron. It's just great to see their tenacity. And even though we did have to make some changes in March, I'll tell you what, they really stayed uh, active. What's amazing to me is, is this whole coronavirus uh, it's very deadly, uh, caused a lot of health problems. But you know what's interesting? When we look at the health of the people in the United States and the obesity rate, what we're doing is we are fighting that battle. Even with all that, these challengers were so committed to our program and their results. And I'm very, very proud of those people. It's just, it's just fantastic. This year's Super Fitness journey is going to look a little different than last year, mainly because of social distancing. Our challengers are joining us virtually, but their challenges, wow, they are amazing. You are going to meet two ladies that have really overcome physical and mental challenges. We were um, married for almost 15 years. Um, he struggled with his weight loss. We went into the hospital in um, January, he was in ICU for a couple weeks. He was home for a couple days and then passed away in my arms. Oh, oh Tina. I was devastated. Um, but I knew that I was doing this weight loss challenge for myself and my family and my grandchildren. And I had a lot of friends reaching out to me and they just helped me get through it. So, you know, tell me about that moment after Mike's passing and, you know, where you were on your own. I know you had your family around you, but how did that help pull you back? I was really surprised I was able to come to the challenge, but I knew I needed to be there. You know, when you think about Mike's life, he was struggling so hard with a, um, obesity. Uh, mm -hmm. And, you know, you were also in the Super Bowl Weight Loss Challenge to knock down your own weight. Talk to me about that relationship. How did that change your mind about how you wanted to live? I wanted to better myself so I can be around for my my family um um i have two daughters that are married with three children um i just wanted to be healthier and feel better and be more active um to keep up with everybody and after mike's passing how did the super fitness family help you stay stronger and, and build back some of that confidence everybody encouraged me just to keep going and um, they were just there for me like as friends and they knew that you know this was important to me to do. How did it make you Wonder Woman, Superman, you know anything like that? <laughs> because that's kind of where you are. You've, you've taken this weight loss journey which is a struggle in itself and you yeah. truly had a life-altering 
uh, events in your life. And when you walked in the gym, you just had all these people like care about you. <laughs> and <laughs> it's just a life changing um, thing. It's like, I never thought I would be able to do this. Um, I thank everybody for being there for me. And I just have learned to love so many people. Thank you so much for sharing your story, Tina. And all of that support from that Super Fitness Weight Loss family really helped push her to the next level. And another challenger, Robin Giles, she also needed her Super Fitness Weight Loss family to help her go from the Air Force to the gym. I was Air Force first. I was load master on uh, aircraft, traveled the world. Talk to me about the friends. Oh God. Uh, well, I have lots of friends from military, obviously, but I got very close people over in Iraq um, and I ended up losing three guys, uh, um, the youngest one, 19 years old. Like every second of your life, you didn't know if you were gonna live or die. And uh, then when you come back, uh, you have this thing called PTSD, which is post-traumatic stress disorder. It's, it's really painful when you come home. It's really, really painful. You had talked about how you were in your home first. You just didn't even want to go outside. That's the first thing you told me is that no, I never even wanted to go outside of my house until I did this challenge. So talk to me about that feeling and the, how, the, how, you, how the weight loss challenge people kind of drug you back into life. I'm going to tell you these, these people at the Super Fitness Gym are wonderful. Absolutely wonderful. And I love all of my, my challengers. I, I have never been with such a good group of people other than the military that uh, I've gotten close to. I'll tell you what, uh, I talk about Tina a lot. I also talk about you a lot, uh, where I share the story uh, where we were at a challenge and you came up to me and said, Kelly, uh, I haven't been out of my house until I started at this weight loss challenge. And it made right. me feel so proud to know that you felt comfortable with us and that you felt felt needed and protected and that we could not only help you with the weight loss, but help mm -hmm. you get back into life. And I feel so proud of that. I would start trying to work out at home. I would, you just feel like a nothing, you know? And then you don't have any direction or you don't have like moral support. And I like, you know what? I'm joining, I, I, uh, had a friend tell me to join the gym and I did. My depression is getting so much better. Yeah. You look great, Robin. Well, I was so excited and I wanted to make everybody else feel good about what they were doing. Good. It wasn't, well, I'm, I'm not all about me, I'm about everybody. Tina and Robin, that is tough to share your stories and I really thank you for that. You're both so inspiring. Now I want to introduce you to a couple that gets healthy together and stays together. They are also so inspiring. But first, if you're having a little anxiety getting to the gym, we're going to help you cope with doctor's orders. The most important thing, first of all, is for people to realize that they're not alone um, and certainly that they um, can reach out to their doctors or family members, that sort of thing exercise, a regular regimen of physical activity, especially cardiovascular exercise, meaning things that get your heart rate up, like, you know, running, biking, walking, um, that on its own can be as effective as our kind of common medications that we use for anxiety and depression. And definitely um, in combination, the two plus a good therapist or a counselor can be invaluable for, for these patients. And, and definitely with your weight loss challenge, it provides a bit of a community for people. So again, um, they don't feel like they're alone in their uh, you know, quest to lose weight and improve their lifestyle. There are people out there that can help you right now. Um, and so I just wanted to give the National Suicide Prevention Lifeline that phone number is 1-800-273-8255. Um, and again, that you can call them or I believe they even have a text line 24-7. Um, so please do not um, you know, be shy about reaching out if you're struggling with your mental health.
taking that first step for that healthier lifestyle can be really tough, but you saw some of our challengers beat those emotional and physical barriers. Now we've got a couple that challenge each other and this will inspire you. Daryl supported me hugely last year um, and I did it by myself. He, you know, did cooking, anything to help me out. And this year he decided to join me. And it was a lot different in that we did it together. And I think we, we push each other to do what we think we can't do. Having her there to support me and to just keep me on the uh, eating thing, because that's a, a big thing. So uh, just trying to keep me away from eating something bad at night. She'll go, no, you can't do it. So yeah. it's been very supportive as far as that goes. And then, you know, she'll go, hey, we want to go work out and we'll go and work out. When you're ta really talking about each other's health and you're looking at something that specific, don't you think it makes you stronger as a couple? I do. I mean, it, it keeps you, you know, focused on um, getting healthier together. I mean, you know, we, we're not as young as we used to be and um, things are breaking down. And so, <laughs> um, and you know, we're, we're going to be grandparents someday, hopefully. So I think we both have led active lives and we both want to be around and active for grandkids yes. in the future. And you were always so uplifting to each other, but playfully fun. And I think that really made it fun for, like I said, all of us around you. Give some advice to other people that are maybe watching this, want to try to lose some weight, try to do it as a family or as a couple. So it, it takes a lot of work though. I mean, there's, there's days when the menu planning falls through and you're left with, I don't know what we want to eat. And that's when we pick up the phone and order a pizza half the time. <laughs> so, you know. We got to stay on our, each other and not going to do it. Yeah. So. But it's, it, and that's part of the support, you know, that's part of then your, cause you're not always on at the same time. One of you might be down and the other one kind of steps in and said, we've worked too hard. You know, let me defrost a, a chicken in the freezer and let's eat a chicken. Don't order the pizza. Well, what a literal track record our challengers have this season. So many great stories to share. And of course, owner of Super Fitness, Ron Hemmelgarn. We couldn't be more proud, right, Ron? Very, very proud. Exciting, exciting year. And we've had a lot of obstacles, but we've still come out on top. And you know, obesity is pretty dangerous on its own, right? It is. You know, the amount of people that die every day from obesity, from high blood pressure, heart disease, diabetes, it goes on and on and on. What we're doing, Kelly, and we've done it for 13 years now, we are making it very public. Uh, to the people in the Toledo, Toledo audience about the importance of exercise, the importance of nutrition, losing that weight, improving their health. We've proven over and over how exercise is the best thing you can do to keep yourself very healthy, but also it helps fight off diseases. You can build that immune system just through diet, through exercise, but you got to do it regularly. It's not something you just do for a week and then you stop. What I always say, we've got three-year-olds to 100 years old working out at Super Fitness. That's amazing. And their health is great and they're in good shape. And that's what we want to continue doing, even for next year. So you have a very generous uh, offer for all of our challengers. What I want to do is this year, coming year, season 14, I want to be able to take all the contestants from 2013, whether they made it to the final or they started in October, and we're gonna give every one of them free entry into next year's season 14. I love it, so every challenger that is in it now is automatically entered into the 2021 season. We can't wait to see everyone. Thanks for being here, Ron. This has definitely been an unusual year for the Super Fitness Weight Loss Challenge, but we don't want that to stop you. We're so excited to see all of the challengers invited back for next year. But maybe you have an event you want to lose weight for, maybe like a special wedding. That happened to one of our challengers. But first, how do you work out at a distance? Well, that's in our doctor's orders. I have a lot of patients, especially um, kind of more elderly patients who are telling me, well, 
I, I can't really exercise because I can't go outside. And then I think, and then I tell them, you know, wait, stop. Like you can actually go outside. And actually I would really encourage people to get outside. Finally, you know, the weather's cooperating and, um, you know, being outside and being in the fresh air is really important for our mental health. And so um, definitely we can go outside. You can get your walk on, you can run, you know, whatever you tend to enjoy. Um, just from, as you mentioned, kind of a social distance perspective. Um, so making sure same thing like if you were in the grocery store so trying to stay six feet away from you know those around you you do not need to wear masks I'm hearing that a lot um, from my patients well if I go outside do I need to wear a mask absolutely not you're in the, the open air and as long as you're within that six feet radius of, of other people you're okay yeah. Welcome back. Well, we've all been there. There's a big event coming up, like a wedding or a graduation, and we just want to look a little bit slimmer. And then the time keeps ticking, and then before you know it, you flip the calendar up, and it's just a month away. Well, we've all been there, and Cassie Allmiller, one of our challengers, well, she didn't let that calendar or the coronavirus stop her. My son was to be married in April, April 3rd to be exact. So back in October, when I seen the commercials for the weight loss challenge, I decided to join it. Um, figured it'd give me some help and guidance on, on my weight loss journey. My goal originally was to lose around 50 pounds. Okay. Very doable. Oh, so I made it to 40 pounds, which I was happy with. I mean, the entire world starts shutting down as you're getting closer to this wedding day. How, what's the family thinking? What does your th son think? <laughs> they, you know, day by day, they're wondering if they're going to have the wedding. And we actually had um, family members calling and saying, hey, we might not come to this wedding. So it was sad, you know, and then they just made the ultimate decision, say, hey, we have to move the wedding. And do you think having that goal of the wedding really helped along with the, the team, the super fitness team? Definitely. It definitely did. It kept me focused. Um, it kept me on track. Now, did you buy your dress ahead of time so you knew what size you wanted to be or were you waiting? I um, bought my dress. I actually bought my dress probably about a month and a half before the wedding. I was down in Columbus with my daughter and we were dress shopping and I found one. Mm -hmm. um it fit so i grabbed it and now i have to have it in a closet you know the coronavirus might have postponed the wedding but mm -hmm. it doesn't look like it postponed your weight loss at all congratulations nope i've just hoped like when i um i made a comment before to somebody that with the dress um hoping by the time the wedding comes i have to get it altered some more I just love Cassie's story. I know that we can all relate to that one. And no doubt she's going to look fantastic in September for that wedding. We will meet the top five in just a few minutes. But first, how do you maintain that weight loss? Let's check in with our doctor's orders. Even just losing five to 10% of your body weight um, can really reduce your risk of diabetes, high blood pressure, and if you already have those conditions, can improve your outlook with those or outcomes. Um, but maintaining can sometimes be a lot harder than the actual weight loss itself. So um, it's important to remain um, vigilant, certainly, um, in making sure that you're you know, staying on track with your diet and lifestyle changes, and then also exercising regularly, regularly. and obviously, um, you know, it's important to remember what your initial goal was to begin with. So again, if you had those conditions of diabetes or high blood pressure, you, you know, had a heart problem, weight loss can help with all of those things. And sometimes um, for people can help them to get off of, you know, their blood pressure medications or their insulin or, you know, whatever uh, medications they were on prior to losing that weight. So remembering like, you know, not fun to take those medications. It's not all that much fun to pay your doctor's bills and to come see your doctor. Um, so remembering kind of the reason that you started is the most important thing. And then making sure that everything that you're doing or most things that you're doing, most choices that you're making are putting you, you know, closer to that goal or kind of closer to that end goal rather than setting you back. had quite a year. Our challengers have done a lot of bobbing and weaving as this challenge of all has really had a lot of changes going along. Let's check in with the super fitness owner, Ron Hemmelgarn. Hey, would you like to help me announce the top five? Well, sure. All right. In fifth Go place, 
In fifth place, this woman came, you remember her. She came to our challenges and such a great spirit. But in the beginning of the year, she had one of the hardest things happen to her. Her husband died. Uh, it's Tina Samp, and she lost over 30 pounds, thir almost 13 and a half percent of her body weight. That's, she's in fifth place. Isn't that amazing? That's fantastic. Fantastic. David Heidebrink, he is in fourth place. He lost 34.8 pounds, and that puts him at 15.1% of his body weight. Isn't that great? He looks like a whole different person. Isn't that fantastic, though? I mean, effort equals results. That's all I can say. So in third place, we have a lady that has also had a really fun challenge in her little family. They were going to have a wedding, so she's deciding she's going to lose weight for the wedding. And guess what? coronavirus, you know, the pandemic happens. And Cassandra Allmiller, she did not let that, that, that sideline her weight loss at all. She still lost 35.8 pounds, Ron. That's 16.07% of her body weight. So the wedding's been canceled, but not her weight loss. Ron Riffle, we can't get rid of him. It's a wonderful thing because he brings so much sarcasm, sarcasm and fun to every single challenge. He lost 70 pounds, Ron. I know that you saw him earlier yeah. in the year. He came Amazing. back in January and February ready to fight. His doctor kind of gave him an ultimatum, hey, lose weight or lose your life. And he got serious and he lost 70 pounds in like two and a half months. And that pushed him right up into second place. That's and, and he did it all at your club, which is yeah, it's completely yeah, it's wonderful. Haley Keith, she lost almost 50 pounds, 48.4 pounds, over 23% of her body weight. Haley Keith, what a little spunky girl. And we certainly love her spirit. I'll tell you what, Ron, she is a champ. Yep. And she's a cheerleader for the whole group. She's just cheering everybody on, always in there, the challenges. It's a great, great deal. And again, a fantastic winner. Thanks for joining us on our super fitness journey. The challenge is over for now, but that journey continues for all of us. If you need more help, all you need to do is go to WTOL.com or check out our WTOL news app. And you can find all kinds of great information there on our super fitness weight loss challenge. Have a great day. And remember, we're all in this together.